This next fellow, <laughs> you never know. And that's what I love about him. You just never know. And it's very well thought out. And uh, he's a great actor through his words and his content. Steve Gruen. by the chronogram. I sent it in like three months ago for the April issue, so I'll start with that one. I got one other short one. Um, this is called uh, To Eulogize Mary Butler. And uh, that's Mary Butler. So, <laughs> eternal effervescence, no, not even close to this spark. Emotions are way too strong, and describing leaves me far, far short of the mark. Like the drug darcher shooting satellites out of your bosom, or a hollow chasm, or an endless orgasm, or a lust eternally in caps. A love found every century? Perhaps. So if I should drown tomorrow in the Catskill Creek, wipe the smile off of my face, and unlodge the eels from my eye sockets. Thank you, Mary, for the bowman has pierced my heart. I love you. <laughs> this is like the first poem I actually wrote about the stars, so I don't know. If See how it came out. <clears throat> the stars flicker, emblazoned against the opulent night sky, fooling all onlookers. <clears throat> sure, they look beautiful over Chesapeake Bay and look like expensive diamonds over the Golden Gate. Can't see them in New York, it's always cloudy and full of hate. They look wild and unhinged over the valley. The belt of Orion's never straight, and always seemingly over my back porch like a reliable friend or mate. But they'll fall and chop our hands off when we catch them to make wishes. Cut us in our dreams and scale us just like fishes. A chemtrail resembling lace snakes its way up towards the North Star like a ball of hot wax congealing on the head of a pin, or a bomb with a long fuse and an imminent explosion. I tremble under the fawning moon in my worn leather jacket waiting for the onslaught. Oh, cursed stars. They're out in numbers and I'm fucking scared. <laughs> But you don't have to be. <laughs> because like, he's look sitting right next to you. See, that's, that's the beauty of the sacred feminine. Certainly in the context of... I guess it's the best way to, to, to frame it is in the androgyny of creation. The totality of totality. And all the religious entities that have become geopolitical because of their absolute certainty of their method towards spirituality when creation has no editorial it has an intelligence a consciousness and it keeps growing and at best those of us who choose to be conscious will awaken the spirit within this temporary pod to maximize the experience to the best of our abilities for the longest of times. But you're blessed. Enjoy it and have fun. And shame on you if you don't. <laughs>